Good evening on behalf of the Hannibal Central School District I'd like to welcome you to tonight's program. Tonight we're excited to showcase our 5th through 12th graders music talents that they developed here in the Hannibal Central School District. You'll see that this is our first time we've had in-person rehearsals since the pandemic began and we're really excited to demonstrate our success. As you may or may not know, our music program has continued to flourish over the past several years. We're extremely proud of our musicians as they represent a well-rounded student. Research is anchored well into the foundations of math, articulation, communication, collaboration. Uh, we are super proud of our students. We also would like to thank our amazing teachers who really contribute and place their dedication into our students' uh, talent and development. Tonight's showcase, I'm going to ask you to celebrate along with us. If you're watching on Facebook, if you could just below this frame, if you could give us some shout outs uh, and share some applause, we'd love to hear from everybody watching this. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Isabella Wagner, and I am in Mrs. Rupert's sixth grade class. Our first song is called We Go Together by, by Warren Casey and Jim Jacobs. The song was written for a huge Broadway musical and movie, Grease. We hope you enjoy our version. <laughs> Sir Paul McCartney from the Beatles. The inspiration for the lyrics came from the perspective of race discrimination in the world. This will feature Kimberly McIntyre and Drake Bennett in the solo section. Thank you. 
Piper Humphrey, and I am in Mrs. Jones' sixth grade class. Our third song is called Jingle Bell Rock. This timeless, popular holiday is one of our favorites. We would like to wish all of you a happy and healthy holiday.
Our next song is called Tafta Hindi by Greg Gilpin. The text in classic Arabic tells the story of a traveling salesman selling Indian muslin, taffeta, and other materials for people to purchase. This song is fast and rhythmic, and we hope you enjoy. White Leonard Piminol is a piece written by, by a folk band in 2008. Robin Peckinold, lead singer and songwriter, explains that the song has no true meaning, but it does have a dark side to it. This song, this song repeated repetitively, which describes the seasons of death. White Leonard Himmelie is a tune purposely of pu pur purposeful of humming while you do your chores, or just singing it in your head as you go about your day. The album that White Glimmer Kimberly was introduced in gained po quick popularity and has become a cult classic and is enjoyed by people around the world. We hope you enjoy this inspiring piece.
Batman theme by music by Danny Elfman, arranged by Michael Story. We mostly practice measures 1 through 10, and 21 through 28, and 68 to the end. During these parts, we mostly practiced articulation. I liked measures 34 to 40 because I thought it sounded very pretty. I liked measures 42 through 48 because I got to play something different. Elfman's inspiration for the Batman theme was when he was on a commercial air flight, where he wrote it in the bathroom to keep it from disappearing into the sky.
Night of Silence was composed by John Cronahan. The backstory behind this song is that a priest took a walk before making this song, and he was amazed at the silence of the wintry town. Steel Knock was first heard in 1818 in a church in Austria. Avenue March was written by Timothy Lois and published in 1999. It has a spirited tune that is sure to tap your toes. Band Avenue March features a dogfight, which essentially is a tug of war between instruments. Our dogfight is between the saxes, horns, and low instruments against everyone else. Some things that were difficult to get was hitting the accents and keeping tempo. In this piece, we worked on speed and dynamics. We hope you enjoy Band Avenue March.
Hello. Hello. The next song we'll be doing is Petapan Fantasia by Audrey Snyder. This song was originally a French Christmas carol written in the 1700s. It is similar to the Christmas carol, The Little Drummer Boy. We hope, hope you, you enjoy. enjoy. The person who made this song is Botar Eldish. The thing we like most about the song is how there's different sections. The Nutcracker is an 1892 two-act ballet. Fun fact, it wasn't meant for children to watch originally, it's now. The performance has small snippets from each original song in the Nutcracker music. We like it because it's cool how adding all of these songs together makes it sound really good.
900 Miles was arranged by Philip E. Sylvie. This song tells the story of a sad time. The chorus must translate this emotion into the performance. And overall, we had a lot of fun learning and singing this piece. We hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Brandy. Hello, my name is Hunter. My name is Will. And the song we chose is Can You Hear by Jim Papworth. The song Can You Hear is a mix of classical, jazz, folk, and world beats styles music. It's dramatic but harmonic, and it's known as the dramatic call for help. An interesting fact about Jim Papalis is he opened a center to help others. What was hard for me was singing in like one pitch and the others singing in a different pitch. Um, so that way, because I couldn't keep on the one pitch. I wanted to switch to the other pitch that they were singing. What I liked about this, the song was, of all the harmonies throughout the song, um, each harmony that we kept singing, we kept singing harmonies throughout the almost throughout the whole song, and I loved loved how they sound. What I found hard about the song is getting lost and trying to remember where we were, but. It wasn't really a big problem. It happened like once, and the song sounded great. And what I liked about the song is well, it sounded great, and uh, it's very harmonized, and it sounded great. Thanks for watching. Can you hear my cries? Can you see?
next song is titled Escape of the Shadows. It was composed by Barry Copeland and published by Lloyd Alfred Music. The composer created a song for his novel called Land of the Walking. This song is an extremely exciting piece and should give off an extremely thrilling feeling to the listeners. We have all worked extremely hard to make this song the best that we could make it, from adding different instruments to endlessly practicing to perfect this piece. We want to give a huge thank you to Miss Plant for giving us this fun yet challenging piece. We hope you enjoy and have a happy holiday. Thank you. 